Bears win this game. Late in the game, Bears were up 9-3. All of a sudden, Josh Dobbs comes to life with a 17-yard touchdown pass to TJ Hawkinson. It makes it 10-9 Vikings. Bears get the ball back on a third and 10. Justin Fields fumbled. It felt devastating, but the Vikings' drive stalled on the Bears' 45. Vikings did not have a good drive. Bears get the ball back with 2.30 left on their own 22. Justin Fields then redemption on a third and 10, finds DJ Moore for 36 yards down to the 10-yard line, eventually setting up the Cairo Santos 30-yard field goal, and the Bears win. Olin Krutz, I will start with you, sir. What did you think of this game? Your first thought. My first thoughts were that the defense was lights out, right? The defense now, I think that's eight takeaways in the last two games and just, uh, you know, held Dobbs. The, the Minnesota offense really couldn't do anything except for that one drive you mentioned where they went down the field. The Bears had some injuries in the secondary, but uh, th- that that trade for Montez Sweat started to look like a big trade. And then um, we keep asking for the ball in his hands at the end of the game. Can he make the play, Right. 36 yards to DJ Moore. Uh, They win the game. Congratulations to them, man. I mean, hopefully, Pat, this starts to get, loosen them up a little bit where they can play, where they realize they can win games and get this offense going. But to see Justin Fields fumble twice and then hit a big play to DJ Moore, that felt good for them, I'm sure, today in that locker room. Yeah, my my first reaction, guys, is thank you. God, <laughs> I couldn't go through it again if they'd blown another game like they did last week. And it was it was nice to see Justin Fields bounce back from those two fumbles because I'm sitting there watching TV. I'm like, no, young man, I just don't want this to happen to you. You want greatness. You want to you want these guys to succeed. And we're talking about Olin. You've been talking about it. I want to see him in the you know the, the the game moments, right? And he had two of them, and he had two fumbles, and then he comes back and and makes that throw to DJ Moore and wins the game. And that's what you ask him to do. But again, if you evaluate him thoroughly, you, you don't want those fumbles. But man, again, thank God he came through and pulled that game out. And yeah, man, that defense, there's something. Okay, Minnesota is a mediocre team offensively now with Joshua Dobbs, but they dominated. So think about the last two games. They've only given up 23 points to this Minnesota team, one with Kirk Cousins at quarterback and the other with Joshua Dobbs. But this defense is really coming together and uh, they're fun to watch. And, you know, they, they talk about takeaways come in bunches. And uh, I think we've seen that. So, like you said, Olin, eight takeaways in two uh, two games. But what is concerning to me is three points off of four takeaways. And you just can't have that. That's not good enough. I don't care, uh, you know, about the Brian Flores defense or whoever it is. You've got to score more points there if you want to be more successful. But, again, thank God we won the game. Yeah, I mean, that's the absolute bottom line. Bears 12 and Minnesota 10. It is interesting when you dig into this game and the defense literally handing the ball to the offense throughout it and just coming up with three on a couple of occasions. Too many times where the Bears offense early on just was was not up to it. So I guess I'm going into the the Justin Fields and this Bears offense as a whole conversation here right away. Because although Justin Fields looked great on that final drive, the 36 yards, there was still too much that didn't happen in this game to where I can't, I, 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 I'm not sure if I could check the box for Justin Fields in terms of this being convincing for his future with the Bears and the future in the NFL. What do you guys think? Yeah, no, definitely not. Yes. Right. De- definitely not. I mean, we, we all know what we watch. We watch the offense struggle. We watch the defense put on a show. And I'll be honest with you, I've been a lot a part of a lot of games like that <laughs> here in Chicago. Right. And uh, watching Jalen Johnson, even though he dropped that pick six uh, close to the best player on the field tonight, man, dominating on his side of the field with tackles, covering his receiver, Montez Sweat, Yannick Ngakwe, Justin Jones, Javon Dexter. Uh, they gave that. Uh, Vikings offensive line hell all night. TJ Edwards, uh, uh, Tremaine Edmonds, linchpins of this defense that we're watching take a step. Now, uh, like you're saying, Grody, we're not going to go overboard here, right? We all know what we watched tonight. We watched the offense struggle mightily, right? They struggled mightily tonight. No, this is not the performance you wanted for Justin Fields. But, Pat, we've been asking for him to win the game at the end of the game. I'm hoping that that gets him going a little bit, right? 
But today, like, to, for me, Pat, I don't know about you, too much of him in the pocket, right? Yep. Too much first down throws, too much not staying on schedule. After that first nine-minute drive, I thought they would just stick with that kind of game plan. They kind of went away from I thought Getze struggled a little against Flores. And look, why Coach Flores went away from the blitz, that's up to him. I'm thankful he did. <laughs> yeah, my biggest problem today was Flores, uh, not Flores, was, uh, was Getze. I mean, how many times did we see the screen game? You know, even 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 uh, Trey Aikman was laughing at the end that the rookie was picking out that they were going to throw that you know little screen game to him. I understand they're trying to target um, DJ Moore. I think they targeted him. Well, he had eleven receptions, but I don't know how many targets it was. But they're trying to get in the ball. But to me, I just I was sick of it. They were seeing too many negative plays or zero gain yards on that play. I think I tweeted during the middle of the game. Roshan Johnson was rushing for four point eight yards per carry. Mm-hmm. I would like to see more of the run game. Just line up and run it. I mean, that's your strength of the team. Just give them more of an opportunity up front to kind of ground, uh, ground, you know, just kind of run the ground game at them. Uh, but I, again, I, it's, I think Luke Getzey got, you know, beat by Brian Flores again, but they did come up with a win, but I just was not impressed with the game plan. You know, what we saw last week I thought was a step in the right direction. I understand you're going against a different defense, a different play caller with the blitzing and all that stuff, but there's a lot of things that Getzey could have done to, uh, you know, I, I think, score points. That would be, be the answer. Yeah, you know uh... – Grody, some of those runs, as Pat knows, some of those screens, as Pat knows, are choice by the quarterback, mm-hmm. right? They're, they're zone reads. So the zone reads, and you have another, it's almost like a spread out triple option, right? And, he's, and, he's, and some of those, I'm sure Getsy will say, Fields, he thought Fields read wrong, and he shouldn't have thrown that pass. He should have either ran the ball or kept it on the run. So I'd be interested, Pat, to go back to the All-22 and see how yes. many of those were actually called right. or were choice by the quarterback to throw it out there to the receiver. But to the bigger point, right, the quarterback and the play caller are struggling together right now. Mm-hmm. And if you ask me, uh, uh, Flus has a, has a decision to make up there at Hallis Hall, man. I mean, like, we got what do we got now? Uh, where are we, five five games left? Yes. With Justin Fields? I, I mean, I don't know. It, I, I mean, I don't know what you think, Rhoda. I don't know what you think, Pat. But, but it's not working, right? It's not working right now on offense. It almost seems like they get to a point of calling plays for Justin Fields, and he's run out of ideas, right? <laughs> and we don't need that with Justin Fields, right? right. We don't need that. We, we need something else, something more creative, more quarterback runs, more things that Justin Fields can do uh, because right now they look stuck in the mud against teams like the Vikings. Well, I, what, what I'll say is, like, again, the Justin Fields look good at times, on that very first drive where he had back-to-back plays, where he bought time with his legs, found Khalil Herbert on one of them, found Roshan Johnson. One of those was a third down play as well. And that, that to me, I like, you do that. Like, you buy, because that, that, that is your superstar skill, your feet. So he, we saw him doing that and then finding guys. If he's able to do that, consistently the guy is going to be a star but the problem is that he just doesn't do it consistently and then i'll go to the in the second quarter the the busted drive after the jalen johnson pick it's three nothing bared bears the johnson takes it to around midfield Kyler Gordon gets the taunting call uh, for taking his helmet off. Two more penalties um, after that, and then the punt um, after Fields almost got Darnell Mooney killed on a third down play. On that third down where he overthrew, where he waits too long to hit him, and then overthrows him. So that I mean that is like two like moments of you see some really good stuff and then bad stuff. And I realize a lot of the bad stuff too was 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 within the penalties there, but they were just opportunities that you look at and say how are you not capitalizing and how could you be so sloppy yeah and this this team is not good enough to overcome those i mean every now and then justin fields will, will you know will rescue you with his legs or whatever but uh you just can't have that with this team right now you can't have it with any team really but that that's the sign of a bad offense when you're having penalties like that you just you, you can't have that happen no the, listen i mean we're not confused right that that was a terrible game by the offense mm-hmm. right? uh not enough points um they didn't put the ball in the end zone, and then, you know, uh, Cairo Santos missed that first field goal, right, which which hurt them. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were nine-minute drive. You missed a field goal. It takes some momentum away from you. Uh, they, they didn't move the ball enough after two drives, as Grody mentioned. But for a team that we've been saying for weeks now, they beat themselves. Losers find a way to lose. 
All these things we've been saying. Today, they found a way to win, uh, uh, no matter what, 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 you know, it's usually us complaining about why the hell did <laughs> flus go away from the Blitz? Right. Right. Why did you get safe there? Well, now the, now the Vikings, either they're sports radio. I hope they have fun this week. I'm used to it, right? It's not going to be very fun. Trust me. You got to pick a part of the uh, uh, game. You got to find everything wrong. Oh, uh, Justin yeah. Fields did not have a good game. You do not say tonight, well, with that, if you had the first pick of the draft, you don't take a quarterback. That, 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 that wasn't erased tonight. But what, what was the question that was answered, Pat and Mark, is the question that we've been asking, can they find a way to win? Winners win, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, they found a way to win. Can it start something for them or for Justin Fields is a question that you have as you go on through this season. Because when Hawkinson caught that ball and Eddie Jackson didn't drive on him, you know, uh, uh, we, in our text chain, we said, what's going to happen when it's 10 to 9 and Justin Field has the ball, right, yep. Pat? Yep. That's what we asked. And that was when it was 9 to, 9 to, 9 to 3, Grody. We asked that when it was 9 to 3. When it's 10 to 9, uh, what's going to happen? Well, he, he hit last week, throw the damn ball to DJ Moore to win the game. Guess what they did today? Yep. Threw the damn ball to DJ Moore, right? <laughs> that, that, that happened today. I, I know everything else that happened during the game, but that did happen. Yeah, we'll give a lot more love to the defense, too. But obviously, mm-hmm. these are the things that we've been talking about all season long. And yeah, to, to your point, Justin Fields makes a play because that's what we were screaming about last year. Somebody make a damn play. Now, I know that that was on defense, but they did have that in this game. Fourth quarter, Kyler Gordon comes up with a big pick that could have gone to Justin Jones, who made the play, deflected it. It pops into Gordon's hands. So the difference between this week and last week was that you did have, in some regards, is that you did have guys make making late plays in this game. And yes, the Bears won the game. Bears 12, Vikings 10. That is to be celebrated. Game-winning field goal for Cairo Santos of 30 yards to get the W for the Bears, who are now 4-8 and eight on the season. The Vikings even at 6-6. Six and six.